What's up, guys? I'm Insidious, and today I want to show you guys the Griffin RTA. I know my little thing says, yes, it's a clone, but it's not. It's not a clone. That's just uh, the only thing I had to uh, protect the tank to keep it clean. So, I'm clumsy. Listen, my experience with RTAs are... Uh, I don't have much experience with RTAs. And the reason being is because the experiences that I have had with RTAs have been horrible. They've been really, really bad. I had the dome clone, and don't don't get that. Don't get the dome clone. And uh, if if the dome is anything like the dome clone, don't get the dome. The it was really just terrible to build on. It leaked everywhere. All the time, using it, not using it. You could think it was empty and set it somewhere. Like I, I quit using it for like a month, and I picked it up and it was still leaking. I'm just it's like, Phew. actually, this, this is right here is actually part of that. I keep that just to have. But anyways, the Griffin is it's it's totally different. I seen that it has it's by Geek Geek Bait, uh, which is the same. One people that I got the Foxy ones had from. Uh, it it's got a velocity style deck. I don't know if you've ever built on the velocity, but they're really simple to build on. It's two side posts. Um, it's actually slightly smaller than the velocity, just slightly. Uh, I can take coils that I'm using that barely fit in the velocity, and they won't fit in the Griffin. But it is very, very close. Uh, I can get it to actually sit down on top of it, but it touches the coil, it comes it out. Uh, there's, I've actually done a, a thing showing the velocity, but there's the velocity. You got two side posts, you got the uh, hex screws there on the side. It's that's why I have a tank protector. Anyways, it's got a the, the post holds the screw there on the side to tighten it up. Uh, and actually, those coals right there uh, probably would fit. It's pretty close to the end there. But uh, I really like the velocity. Really like it. I also like the twisted messes. I've got both of those R RDAs, and I haven't used either one of them. Uh, I used the velocity there for a little bit while I was building on the Griffin, but since I've built on the Griffin, which right now I'm running 0.35 ohms, and I, it really puts out a lot of vapor. Uh, the airflow, it's got airflow uh, right there goes all the way through and the other side uh, you can twist it to adjust it sort of twist it and keep everything in focus too but twist it and adjust it whatever you adjust it on one side that's what it's going to be on the other 3.5 milliliter tank on it uh, which I liked RDAs I didn't mind having a drip it didn't bother me that much but there's certain things about having a tank I can fill it up. I might go through two tanks a day. Actually, not all the way through two tanks, but unless I'm just baking like crazy. But it's 3.5 milliliter tank. I may actually take that off and just pray that I don't drop it. I got mine in all black. Uh, Rip Troopers had where he said you could get it for $25.99. Uh, I'll actually go and, and check that out. See there it says Griffin there on the side. I had a tough time keeping everything in focus. It's actually got a little grip in there. It's out of it. Uh, but the one that I got all black, I got it from Everson and paid what? paid thirty six dollars for it, which wasn't bad. Uh, it was out of stock. They had to reorder it and get it in. 
I've had it for a while now. I've actually used it for about two weeks and haven't done a video on it yet. Wanted to try it out. You can actually put Clapton's in it. If, uh, if that's what you want to do, you can put three millimeter, uh, builds in it. No problem. I just really, really like this thing. It's got the, uh, the juice flow there that you can turn and adjust it. Anytime you fill it up, which it's top fill tank, this piece right here actually screws off. Let me close the juice flow there. You close the juice flow and twist the top of this and just like that you put juice down in there. I don't want to tilt it all the way to the side because I'll spill my juice I got full. But the places that you have to fill the juice, they're really easy to fill. It's a big opening. I have uh, no problem getting getting the juice just where I want to put it. I ain't dropping it down the side of it or inside of it or all over the places. I can actually Mike Vapes did a video where he just took a bottle so using the dripper and just turn the bottle down inside of it like that and it uh, and right there on top of it it originally has a chuff cap just like uh just like the velocity there. I've got it here somewhere. Actually, I'll show you when I break it all down. But it's got a, a chuff cap, which sits down in there really well. But I haven't used this this drip tip in a long time. It's glass. It's got airflow on it. I really like it. Uh, something about glass just makes it taste better. Uh, as far as the stainless, I don't really like stainless. Delrin or the, you know like a regular chuff cap, it's it's good. But it still, to me, doesn't beat a glass trip tip. It's not quite as big as a chuff cap, but it still puts out a lot of vapor and it tastes really good. So that's kind of what I've been going with for right now. It's got an adapter that you can use your own drip tip. So that's great. Because a lot of, a lot of stuff that you get, you have to use what, what they send with it. But this has an adapter where you can use a regular, regular drip tip. So you can put whatever on there. So that's it so far. I'm going to go ahead and break it down and yeah. All right, guys, this is the Geek Vape Griffin. As you can see here, uh, Geek knows better. Uh, I've actually had this open, so just in case anybody works at Geek Vape and happens to watch this and they're like, Oh, the person who's supposed to put it on the left didn't put it on the left, and that's why, because I've opened it. You can tell from, yeah, yeah. weren't open. Um, so anyways, this was very, very tight, and it still is very, very tight. Get open! Um, there we go. Alright. So it comes in the sleeve. Uh, that's about how it, how it was when I got it. Uh, you can see there on the top, it's got a spare tank, which is good because I break stuff. And this just it had a sticker there, I ripped it off. So, open this up, and uh, well, there's the tank itself. Uh, down here is the airflow, which you just turn it, uh, opens it up, I turned it the wrong way, open the airflow up, there, it's got a gold plated pin right there, you can, let me back it up there a little bit, manufactured by Geek Vape, there's my authenticity, the juice control right there. You can see you can open and close it. It's got four juice holes. Uh, let's see here. Let's take the top piece off here. There's the chuff cap that comes on it. Let's take that off. There's the 
juice holes that you can see that are huge, which is, is great. Uh, you can take this bottom piece off, it slides this whole piece out of here. You can see there. Uh, that actually goes on the bottom of that, so I don't know. This whole ring goes around the bottom of this. Anyways, you can look in there and see where you build your coals. Take this piece off right here, and this will actually screw into the bottom of that. But that's the uh, that's the deck right there that you build on. And you can see it's actually really it's a little bit smaller than the one on the velocity as far as uh, how big it is that you can build on it. Trying to get get everything in focus at once, and it's tough to do. But the airflow comes right underneath, right underneath the coals, which is is great. Heats them up really quick. So anyways, that's pretty much everything that comes with that, except for what they've got in here. It actually took a different, different, um, different size hex than I use. Uh, right there, I can scratch it off for, and check the authenticity, but you open this little thing up and you've got O-rings, um, spare hex, uh, hex nuts, and the hex key, which is a little bit smaller than the one that I usually use. I usually use that one right there. I've got like th three of them that I use, uh, and it's actually a little bit smaller than that. So, uh, it's got different color ones. You can use green, clear, black, uh, whatever there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and build something on this and show you guys how it vapes with something new on it because the coals that I had on in the beginning have been vaping on it for a, for a while so I'll jump right to building something and putting it on alright what I got on here now is actually a pretty big build it's coming out 0.6 uh, is what it's coming out to on the um, Geek big five to one tab. This is doing pretty good right there. So all I gotta do now is wake it up and it'll be ready to go. What I've got now, I've got the uh, cotton tucked in. Uh, you're supposed to just cut enough to where you can just tuck it in on that lip. You don't want to. You don't want to stuff it down inside uh, the inside. It's got a little steel ring that goes around it. Let me see if I can zoom in on it so I can show you guys. It's got a little steel ring that runs around it right here. And you just want to tuck it in, just to where it sits in on that lip. You don't want to stuff it down inside there uh, in order for it to wick properly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, uh, I got some vape juice, mountain juice, which tastes exactly like Mountain Dew. Uh, not a huge fan of Mountain Dew, but I'll, I don't know. Uh, I like it to a, a degree. As I like the taste of it. I just don't like the fact that drinking three of them makes my heart explode. So I'm just going to 
wig it up real good, put some there on the cotton and on the coals. I like using the uh, Clapton coals in this because they do the the juice gets down in there and just it just sits down in there. So pretty much as soon as you hit the fire button, it, it's firing that juice uh, that sits down in the coal. Plus, it's really really good for flavor. I've never tried a Clapton coal before. gonna get some juice all over this and then I'm gonna I pretty much got it where I want it but I'm gonna mold it a little more into what I want because I don't plan on doing anything else with it for a while I'm just gonna vape it so the more time you, you spend uh, when you do it the first time the less time you'll spend messing with it later I found by throwing coals together and, and throwing wick in there that normally within a day I was having to make adjustments. So I try to take my time and that's actually why I'm just skipping through and just showing you guys what I did instead of while I do it because I am taking my time to make sure it is what I want it to be. So I want it to, I want the air going directly underneath the coal. I want the wick proper I want, I want everything to be just the way that it should be because uh, because this is gonna be my weekend vape so and last time I did this I actually made it for about two weeks before I actually ended up just changing the cotton out I didn't have to do anything with the wicks other than just clean them off I'd heat them up and then take, a, I've got a steel brush, like a little toothbrush, it's got steel wires on it, and uh, I'd heat the coals up and then just brush them a little bit and clean right up. So, okay, so I got that on there, I'm going to put a little bit more juice on the coal just to be sure, because once you burn the cotton, you're, you're always going to, it's going to be tainted. You see it's sucking it up right there. That's what I want. I want to suck it up there a little bit. And put a little bit more on it. That's pretty perfect with what I want. That isn't. <laughs> but I know what that is. Uh, that's actually... this Kung Fu mod you have to make sure that the uh, pin is out pretty good the first time I come across this I was very confused as to what it was doing so there we go so that that's pretty perfect what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the tank on there and fill it up. So put this on. And it just sits right on top of there. Then you hold the bottom part of it and screw down. And once it actually catches, you'll want to hold that little gripped area right there. And kind of tighten it up. So that should be good right there. It's good and tight. The air flow is open. I'm going to close the juice flow because I don't want juice going to it while I'm doing this. I'm going to go ahead and close the air flow too. Uh, then just put this down in there and squeeze. all that juice down in there and get it like I said it is 3.5 milliliters which 
The Creus, I believe, is more than that, but you can't build as big on it. And 3.5 milliliters is, is pretty good for me. I'm used to dripping. Uh, so, really don't have to mess with it that much. I can fill up a tank and be good on it. So, there's that. So, now I'm going to take it back up and vape it, see how it's doing. So, there's the Griffin with the uh, Clapton coals in it, and it's got it juiced up. Uh, the main thing I want to do before I vape it, and as you can see, I've already been vaping it, <laughs> but is to take a couple, just do a couple of those without hitting it, without hitting the button. And what that does is it allows air to go up through and and kind of soak the cotton a little more just to make sure I don't get a dry hit, but. blows a ton of vapor, gets a lot of flavor in those Claptons even though the first hit or two uh, takes a little bit to heat them up just because of my mod, uh, but, and because of the Claptons, it's a little bit bigger, but definitely uh, recommend getting this tank, uh, like I said, Rip Trooper's Head where you can get it for $25, $24.99, $25.99, $25 something like that. And I'll check that out. And if there's a link down below, it says twenty four nine nine or twenty five ninety nine, and then it has a link, then you can get it there. If not, I have the link where I picked up mine uh, for thirty five dollars, which is still worth that to me at least. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a, a great tank, a great RTA, uh, and the best thing about it, no leak. It doesn't leak. Uh, it's completely full of juice. Uh, then leak. Then leak on the bottom. Uh, which is amazing to me. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you on the next one later.